Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. How are you, Scorpios, each and every one of you? How are you doing, Scorpio? Uh, I hope you guys are doing amazing, Scorpio. I hope you are keeping your attention and your intentions set on the desires of your heart so that they can manifest uh, and come to you very soon, Scorpio. So this is going to be another general reading, Scorpio. So it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio out there, Scorpio. So just take the part that fits. Uh, discard the rest because it only means that this is not your reading at this time, Scorpio. Uh, so this is another love uh, reading, Scorpio, uh, for romance here. For your Lovetober in the month of October reading, uh, pre-happy birthday to each and every one of you, Scorpios. May you get every single thing you so desire, Scorpio, because you deserve it, Scorpio. So I'm going to start off reading this um, love oracle card here. And so far, Scorpio, I have mask, uh, not showing truth. Look, I'm going to have to put my glasses on, Scorpio. It's been so amazingly beautiful outside, Scorpios. <laughs> so if you haven't been outside, I encourage you to get outside. Uh, mass, not showing true, true feelings, high, personified, pretend, deluge, gaslighting, and then you have, I like you, someone likes you, romance is blossoming, blossoming or blooming, fun, flirting, one today. So, I feel like for some Scorpios, you may have a secret admirer here. Someone that's laying in the cut, someone is in the background, uh, watching Scorpio, uh, in La La Land over Scorpio here. Uh, someone is, has feelings for you, Scorpio. They like you, but they're not expressing their feelings for you at this time, Scorpio. And you also have passion here. Insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun here. So if you're not already in some type of relationship, Scorpio, I feel like you have someone who is really jonesing on you. Someone who is extremely digging on Scorpio's vibe, especially around this, it's almost my birthday time of energy for Scorpio. <laughs> I just feel like that's that Queen of Wands energy along with that Queen of Pentacles energy, Scorpio. But someone likes you. There's some chemistry here, Scorpio. Now, either this is a new person coming towards you or this is someone who you're already in a relationship, but they're not trying to let you know it's like they're showing you some part enough for you to follow but they're not in other words i feel like they're letting you know that they like you but i feel like it could be a possibility that this person could actually fall in love with you scorpio and you could fall in love with this person too scorpio you know it's so easy oh now here we go <laughs> heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation Break up, feeling lost, grieving, mourning here. Now, here we go with this again, Scorpio. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Who, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now, you got somebody who is heartbroken here now. So, some Scorpios, some Scorpios have recently uh, broken up with your person here, and you're grieving, you're heartbroken over this thing. Um, and you just, you want your person back, or you just need to heal here. Or you could also have someone laying in the cut lurking as usual, Scorpio, that wants to reach out to you, Scorpio. Uh, they could have a lot of passion for you, but they're not letting you know. They got a lot of feelings for you. I feel like whoever this person is, you guys vibe. Look, love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know, Scorpio. Look at that love call. That's the love call right there because somebody likes you, Scorpio. Somebody got you on their mind. Now, I'm telling you, they're not telling you because it could be someone who is going through something here. Now, this heartbreak may not even have anything to do with you. Someone could have lost someone in their family or, or in their life. Someone could be grieving a, uh, you know, a, 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 a life loss here where they're grieving it. So, they're not readily available to just jump out there and let you know. Or someone could be messed up over Scorpio. You know, you know how they get over Scorpio. But <laughs> there's there's an insane. This card says insane chemistry equally between the two of you, though Scorpio. 
There's a lot of insane chemistry here. Someone is about to express, this says love call, Scorpio. It says that someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So whoever it is, Scorpio, they're about to let you know that they love you and that they're thinking about you, Scorpio. Mm -mm. But you could have a new, I feel like you got a, a person that's heartbroken that you may not know that it could be someone who you're not even seeing, Scorpio, because it says separation here, okay? Break up. But they're 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 still in love with you. They want to hook up. So it says lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So they're got their tower energy, Scorpio. Something has something has happened abruptly here. Something has happened abruptly. Now, for some Scorpios, your ending was abruptly with this person. That has that this is why you could be heartbroken here because you didn't even see this person ending it with you here. If that's not the case, then something is about to come out about your person, Scorpio. But and then it could be it says shocking news or a surprise. It could be your person's about to surprise you. You're gonna look somebody who you least expected. It could be your ex who you day talked to in a, a long time. Or someone who is secretly vibing off of you, Scorpio, is finally going to reach out to you. And I feel like this is going to be a shock. You're gonna, if, you, if this is someone you know, when you see their number or their name pop up on your caller ID, you're going to be like, what? You're going to be tripping because the whole time this person has not been showing you their true feelings, Scorpio. It says delude and gaslighting here, Scorpio. This person has could be under a fake account, uh, secretly admiring you. See, this person... Could be under some type of secret account while they're uh, crushing on you, Scorpio. They like you because it says, with this like, it says someone likes you. Romance is blossoming, fun, flirting, want to date. This person wants to date you. So if you have a specific person that just can't seem to just keep, you know, you know how you have someone who goes that extra mile to kind of flirt with you, Scorpio. Or to say something to you on your post, your DM, or however they get down. Uh, it, it's going to be someone, it could be one of your exes here, uh, low-key talking to you because they like you. They got feelings for you. They got a lot of passion. And I feel like this person is going to go ahead on and finally come forward and make this love call to you, Scorpio. Spirit, show me Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. <laughs> Scorpio, well, I feel like this is you, Scorpio. I feel like this is your person. Now, it could be you, like I say, Scorpio. Some Scorpios are heartbroken because they're they are in separation. They're missing their person. And they want. And some Scorpios want to reach out to your person and call them because you still have passion for this person here. And if it's not for you, Scorpio, just, just put the roles however you see fit. Then this is your person lurking in the background. They missing you like crazy and they're going through it here. <laughs> this person got it bad for you, Scorpio. Since you guys have separated, this person has been broken ever since. And I feel like since you guys have, have, have broken up, this person has been heartbreaking. Since you guys have separated, this person has been broken ever since. So the only way they can keep tabs on you and to really tell you, it, it's like, you know how, let's say if you have some type of social media account, and you have people or, or, or like on or, or a picture, they, 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 could, they could just be commenting on a picture, but they saying stuff like, oh, Scorpio, I love you. You're going to say, you know, you're going to take it idly like, oh, OK, you know, you're so kind. I love you, too. But in all actuality, it could very well be your person telling you that they love you, Scorpio, <laughs> on a sneak tip here. Because they're wearing a mask here, Scorpio. They don't want it's to. They don't want you to know it's you. They don't want you to know that it's them. Because I feel like since you guys separated, they haven't been taking it so well. They haven't bounced back like you. Now, yeah, it's taken. It's taken a while for Scorpio to heal. But majority of Scorpios, if you're not completely healed, you're definitely on your way to com to completely being healed here. And 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 the separation brought that healing about. But your person is still heartbroken because of this separation. And I feel like the only way that they can talk to you because they are a chump, they're scared, and because they're broken. 
And I feel like they don't really want you to know that they're really in love with you, Scorpio. So they try to hide their feelings here in this mass energy when they always have emotions for you, Scorpio. You know they have emotions for you because you got the love call. It didn't say like call. It say love call. <sighs> Scorpio, this person wants to reach out to you and tell you how much they love you, Scorpio. They do. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. I feel like this is you, Scorpio. You healing from your heartbreak. Meanwhile, this person not healing. They're still heartbroken here. Because of this end, because of this end which brought the separation, your separation brought your made your uh brought in healing for your heart because you ended some things with this person and this coffin energy, but it also represents new beginnings for you, Scorpio. You had to end something in order for you to have a new beginning because you got so tired of chasing after this person here. He's a runner. He's a track star. <laughs> you tired of running after this person, Scorpio. you like, God damn. You, you'll never pull over and get no water. Look, because this person was listening to their ego, Scorpio. They thought that they was the shit. They needed you to chase them in order for them to feel like they was the shit. But that's okay, Scorpio. As a result of you pulling your energy back and walking away and healing yourself, you are transcending obstacles. You're learning. You have expansion. You have new phase. And now you are spiritually and physically and even emotionally prepared for your union here. You are, you're ascending since you, you're healing your heart, Scorpio, because this is your energy right here. Since you, since you pulled away and you're healing since the separation, the separation on your end, Scorpio, caused you to heal your heart and to ascend. Meanwhile, your person is still heartbroken here and they're wearing a mask and they're a runner. But look, not only are they missing you, uh, with this separation, this heartbroken energy, all they do is watch you. That's all they do. This is all they do is watch your old photos. They just watch you. You know they watching you because they, they're wearing this mask. They're, they're not showing their true feelings. They're hiding. They're personified, pretending. And they're doing all these things like this, but yet still they, they watch it every part of you. So if you do have pictures of this person watches your pictures, they watch everything about you. But some of you Scorpios is like, bam, uh-uh, it's over. There's no more second chance. There you go right there, Scorpio. You showed up in your own reading. Because look, Scorpio, like I said, this person is watching you. They're watching you. They're watching everything about your life. This person is stalking you. This is what the sunglasses means. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, forcing out, facing out. Is it forcing out? Focusing out here. This person is just keeping tabs on you because they see you advancing. You remember, you got expand, you got ex ascending here. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for you. Now you got palm tree here. It says stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility here. This is what you have for you. Meanwhile, this person is waiting for you to call, and I feel like you ain't calling them, Scorpio. See, because this talking is talking up in reverse, upright. It says, interested, conversing more, awaited messages, arrives, text, call, email, hovering. This person, this is in reverse, so they're not getting these calls from you. They're waiting, but you're not calling them, Scorpio. Because this person, I feel like, may have not made changes. Uh, or, or maybe they are making changes. Maybe they're thinking this right because it says outdated thinking, uh, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So maybe this person is finally changing their, their ways here, their, their frame of thought here, because maybe they are, well, they are, they are in love with you. That's for certain here. But I feel like they're, they're, wh wh whatever type of lifestyle this person has, Scorpio, they're changing. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction here. Now, this could be you self-loving yourself because remember, this person is still heartbroken because, <laughs> excuse me, you're making healthier choices, making healthier choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happy. This is you. This is all your energy right here, but it took the separation to bring this. Now, I feel like as a result of this, Scorpio Spirit is sending you a, a very rewarding, uh, fulfilling relationship. It says relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So some type of relationship is coming in that will uh, is going to grow here. 
Because I feel like you and your person, the only thing y'all did was just uh, trigger each other with this mirror energy here. And then look, the chasers in reverse. You ain't chasing them no more. You like chase you for what? It ain't fun no more. You look, you don't even want to chase them now that you pull your energy back, Scorpio. All they can think about <laughs> is your kisses. They just want to kiss on you. That's all they can think about is all your love, Scorpio. And this person, I feel like no longer wants to go out here and date other people. I feel like this person is done dating because the next card, you have seduction here. This person is tired of the third party interference and all these other relationships because now, Scorpio, they want to cut. Look, I'm gonna give these last two cards right here. You got engagement ring and wedding. This is what this person's person is trying to leave all them holes out in the cold to come in and claim Scorpio. It's going to start off as an engagement. Then you guys are going to get married for some of you Scorpios because it's right here. This person, whoever this person is, Scorpio wants a marriage with you. Uh, for some of you Scorpios, like I said in the last reading, some of your exes is doing some major healing. They're ending a lot of toxic relationships. They're growing up. They're maturing. And they're coming straight to you, Scorpio. They're coming for you now. Uh, a lot of times they couldn't reach out to you. It seemed like they ghosted you. And for the most part, they did. Because they thought that they was going to move on and live happily ever after without Scorpio. But that's how karma gets you. Spirit had to show this person. And then while Spirit is showing this person, I feel like Spirit was elevating you, Scorpio. Because you was doing the right thing. You was self-love and self-caring, Ace, uh, Ace of Wands. You were self-love and self-caring yourself, making healthier choices. This is why you got expansion and growth in your life and security and all those things that make Scorpios happy here, Scorpios. So let's pull. So got that King of Pentacles right there. So let's see what you got. You got the Six of Pentacles here. Spirit, show me what's coming towards my lovely, lovely Scorpios. Scorpios in the house, yeah, yeah. Scorpios in the house. Eight of swords underneath the bottom. We don't want to see you. We don't need nothing about you. Spirit, show me what's coming. Ooh, something that you don't see coming, Scorpio. Damn, Scorpio, the tower card? Why the tower card, Scorpio? Something that you don't see coming, Scorpio. Ooh, wee, Scorpio. Now you have you got some major changes about to take place in your life. You got the tower card and the world card, Scorpio. These you, you started off with two major arcanas here. So it seems like some Scorpios, something that you don't see coming is about to change your life, Scorpio. Something is a major change is about to happen for Scorpio. Ooh, wee, Scorpio. Ooh, wait, look. Now we see that nine of swords here. So someone is stressing out. Now some of you Scorpios could be stressing out over things, over love, over money, over life things here. And it could be somebody else here. Now you got the hangman here. So someone is trying, is trying to figure out something here. So I feel like someone in this nine of swords and this hangman is trying to figure out something here. And they're stressing about it. Someone is stressing out. They could be stressing out because something has happened. Look, they go to Eight of Cups. So I don't know if this is you that's done walked away from this situation or this person is stressing out because you've walked away and they don't know what to do anymore. But this is, but you got the tower card. This is something that you don't see coming. Most of you Scorpios are, are not with your person. Not all. Look, now you have the Two of Wands here. So this is decision. This is expansion here. So it's, it's almost as if you walked away from things, major changes in your life. Uh, you're walking towards your destiny. It seems like you're walking towards your destiny, Scorpio. Meanwhile, I feel like someone, look, there go judge me, Scorpio. Someone... Someone may be trying to come back to you, Scorpio, or someone may be receiving karma here. I feel like someone's life has changed in, in, a, in a major way here. Uh, and it may not be so good because someone is stressing out. And it may not be you, Scorpio. It may be someone connected to you. Uh-oh. Spirit, Spirit, show me what's coming towards Scorpios in love and in romance. Go to three of pentacles, Scorpio. 
So you got some admiration here. Somebody's admiring you, Scorpio. Either someone is admiring you or someone wants to collaborate with you, Scorpio. And you may have to travel to get there. Now you got this Ace of Swords here. This is an Ace of Swords here. Some type of truth, some type of clarity here. Let me see. You got the Knight of Swords. You got the King of Swords underneath the bottom. We sure don't want to see him, but there he go. Spirit, what is this Ace of Swords about for Scorpio? What does this represent for Scorpio? I feel like, Scorpio, you got some major changes about to happen in your life that you do not see coming here. And I also feel like you may have, some Scorpios are stressing out about things that they cannot control. Or they're stressing out about things that they want to get better here. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords here. So this is recovery. This is rest in here. This is rejuvenation here. So something is clear. And they go to Nine of Swords here. Someone is stressing about a recovery here. Someone is stressing about something here. Someone may have taken, someone may have gotten ill here. And they're trying to recover from it. Someone may be ill and they're not sleeping good. Here, now you got this page of cups here. Oh, Scorpio, someone may be, because this Ace of Swords can cut out things, but it also brings you truth and clarity. So something is going to be revealed here. Something is coming out. If somebody, somebody may be stressing out because some truth may be coming out pertaining to a child, to Scorpio. I do see this. And someone, I feel like this information that, that, that may come out with this Ace of Swords has got somebody stressing out here. They, they, they trying to lay low. They trying to handle it good. But I feel like they are afraid. So either someone is afraid that a child is not theirs or someone does not want you to know, Scorpio, that they've had a child here. What is this judgment card about spirit for Scorpio? Why is this here? Clarify judgment. Judgment Scorpio is clarified by the Knight of Cups here. So someone is deciding, someone really has been thinking about you, Scorpio. Someone has decided they want to come to you. Someone has decided that they want to resurrect you guys' relationship. Because you remember the other one, you seen coughing and death. <laughs> so they're trying to resurrect this, Scorpio. <laughs> Clarify judgment, but they don't want you to know that, that, that I think they done had a baby, Scorpio, too. I see this, Page of Cups. Now as they stressing about this truth coming out, because they feel like if this truth come out, you're gonna you're gonna uh, fall back from them, and it's stressing them out if you find and that's what I see, Scorpio. Clarify judgment, spirit. Why is this here? So for judgment, you have the Knight of Cups and you have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio. So this could be confusion here. Now, this person wants to come back. Now, this person could be fantasizing about coming back. I know this person is not trying to come back to an option. I feel like this person just has a lot of confusion in their mind since they're stressing out about some. Because you have the Nine of Swords here twice. Look, you got the Queen of Wands here. So I feel like, I guess this is supposed to be you, Scorpio, because you, after all, you got the Knight of Cups coming in. So your person could be a little bit younger than you, Scorpio, but they find you beautiful and attractive. Remember, we saw that passion card there. So someone wants to come back. Uh, they trying to come charm you. They want you sexually. They want every part of you. Uh, but I feel like in the cut, this person is stressing because I feel like something is about something. That, they don't want you to know about something, Scorpio. Let me see what this tower card. What is this tower card about, Spirit? Clarify tower for Scorpio. Tower card, Scorpio is clarified by the Knight of Swords. Some type of truth is coming out. See there? Then something is something is about to come out about your person, Scorpio. And I feel like something is they look. Somebody's telling it on your person, Scorpio. Something that they don't want out is coming out. And I feel like it's about a baby with this ace of swords. Now you got the tower card with the knight of swords. The Knight of Swords represents action, words, uh, truths, mental. Uh, but the tower you don't see coming, but somebody's trying to, somebody is harshly telling something. Clarify the tower for Scorpio. What is this about? 
death. There you go, Scorpio. Some type of ending here. Something happened. Some something something came out about a death, or something came out about an ending here. Something's gonna come out that is gonna surprise you, Scorpio. I feel like something is gonna come out about your person is gonna surprise you that you don't expect. See, there the hierophant is. I feel like this person. Now this person, this this tower could represent for you. This person gonna rush in on you. You're not gonna see this person coming because they're trying to tell you that they ended a commitment. It's like the same person, Scorpio. They want you to know that whatever this commitment is, it's over because with this judgment card, they're trying to come back to you. They're stressing out about a lot of things here. So what is this Knight of Swords about, Spirit? This Nine of Swords about for Scorpio? Why is this here? This Nine of Swords is clarified by the Star card, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here, a Taurus. So this person is stressing because they're, I feel like this person lay up at night and wish upon you, Scorpio, because look, that's all they do is, they can't sleep at night. All they do is sit up at night and look out the window and look at the star and, and wish for you. <laughs> I feel like this is what they're stressing out about. They want it to happen so bad, Scorpio. They wishing for you. This person is literally wishing for you, Scorpio. Oh, my God. They wishing for you. What the card did I just see? I, um, I see that Ten of Pentacles. This person is wishing for you. And they want healing. Look, there that Ten of Pentacles is. See? This person wants this life with you, Scorpio, with this Ten of Pentacles. But they don't know how to come to you. I feel like, Scorpio, with this tower card here and this knight of swords, something that you don't... It's like this person may come in and tell you something that you may have intuitively knew some things. Uh, but I feel like what you're about to find out, you did not know. That's why you don't see it coming. But this person is going to tell you that there was an ending in their relationship. But I feel like what they're not telling you is that they got a baby, too. Cause they gonna they with this tower card you got the knight of swords the death and the hierophant they're they're, they're gonna tell you that, that that whatever relationship they was in that ended but with this ace of swords here I feel like some other truth is gonna come out so <laughs> maybe they're gonna tell you everything maybe they are gonna tell you everything because you do have this ace of swords so maybe this ace of swords is, is their truth their truth is gonna come back in they're hoping I feel like they're hoping that. Uh, now, maybe they laid it to rest here. Maybe they laid it to rest, whatever truth. Maybe they want to lay it to rest. They want to come clean so that it's out there on the table. And like I said, after this four of swords, you got your other nine of swords. And then this page of cups. I feel like this person, this person would be easier for this person to tell you that they, that they just got out of a relationship. But I feel like it's going to be kind of hard for them to tell you that they got a baby out of it, Scorpio. Because if they're watching you, then they already know how you feel. You don't, you know. So give me one more card for this Nine of Swords. Remember the Nine of Swords, you have the Star card and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like all this person does is lay it, lay it, wake at night. They don't sleep. They looking at the windows. They in La La Land. They're fantasizing about you. They're stressing. They're hopeful. They're praying. They want this life with you. They want an abundant life with you. They want to come together and build something with you. They want a long-term relationship. Now you have the Knight of Wands. They want to come in. They want to take action and come towards you. They do. Because I see you got you got you got two action knights. You got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this person is taking action towards you. They are. They want you though because the passion and this insane chemistry is bringing them to you. So let me see what this two of wands, what is this two of wands about, Spirit? Two of wands is clarified the empress here. Ooh, we Scorpio. Now, remember two of wands is decisions here. Uh, crossroad, you need to make a decision here. So let's see, Scorpio. Now, either this person has made a decision or this person is considering you their empress here. Clarify the two of wands. Now you have the six of pentacles here. 
So this person could have been given somewhere else and they're deciding to not get there anymore. The moon. There's that moon card, Scorpio. So this person, now this person may be fantasizing about you, Scorpio. Uh, or this person, I don't feel like this person is keeping secrets because the two of wands is decisions, is, is expansion, is, is moving forward here. This is what they want. You can have expansion with this empress. And this six of pentacles is the merchant being generous. You remember this person coming in with, the, with, the, with this ten of pentacles? They're trying to build. They're trying to... They're trying to evolve past wherever they're, they left from. Whatever commitment they left from that I feel like produced the child, they're trying to move above that. And they're coming towards you to build this with. They choose you, Scorpio. You are this person's empress, Scorpio. Now this Eight of Cups. What's this Eight of Cups about for Scorpio? Oof. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Five of Wands here. So someone walked away from some confusion, some fussing and fighting here. Someone walked away from a bunch of uh, a bunch of agitation, uh, a bunch of confusion, a bunch of competition. I feel like if this is your person, they walked away from too many people in their business, too much confusion and fussing and fighting, Scorpio. Clarify this Eight of Cups for Scorpio Spirit. Who is this? The tower. They go that tower again, Scorpio. You got the tower twice. You remember this tower card right here? You have the Knight of Swords, Death, and the Hierophant. This person's gonna shock you, telling you that because I feel like some of you Scorpios waiting on somebody to end something, but you never thought they was. They coming in with the truth that they did. This person has walked away from them with this eight of cups. They walked away from all of this confusion because whoever they was with it was full of confusion. The tower card came down on that shit. You see, this came down, the tower card. The tower came down when they walked away. I feel like they walked away or the tower came down and made them to walk away. Because I feel like if the tower card wouldn't have came down, then they may not have walked away. Give me one more card for this Eight of Cups. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh, we Scorpio. They just, I tell you. This your person. Look, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords here. So the tower came down because I feel like this person was stuck. Scorpio, you got the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. I feel like this person, a lot of these Scorpios could have been with your person, but this person got stuck in a relationship probably based on children here. But I feel like this tower is what released them, Scorpio. They could have found out that they person had other, other people that they were involved with. Or, or maybe they just got into a, a big-ass fight with, with a lot of people. Give me one more card for this Eight of Cups. Oof. It's like, I'm... Oof. Five of Pentacles. See? Somebody ass is left out in the cold, Scorpio. They left somebody out in the cold. They once was stuck on them. But now they're leaving them out in the cold with this Five of Pentacles and this Eight of Cups. Damn, Scorpio. So now you have this three of pentacles. What time is it, Scorpios? Now you have this three of pentacles. What is this three of pentacles about for Scorpio spirit? Clarify this three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is clarified by the king of swords. You got the king of swords at the bottom of this deck here. So this person is serious about working together and, and building something with you, Scorpio. Look, three of cups, see? Three, three. <laughs> you got three of pentacles and you got three of cups. This person wants to, re this person is serious minded, Scorpio. They want to renew this connection. They want a partnership with you. They want to work together because you remember you got this ten of pentacles. They feel like y'all can grow some, y'all can build together, Scorpio. You got the page of pentacles. So this person is going to come in with an offer here. So this person feels like they can grow and build with you, Scorpio. I'm telling you. Because I feel like whoever they were with, they didn't get anywhere. Because you remember, this person left somebody out in the cold with this five of pentacles. So some money was wrong where, where they left it. But when they come to you, they feel like you guys can grow something big. 
Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. God dang. Now, this last card here is your world card here. Now, what is this about, Spirit? Clarify the world for Scorpio. You got the hangman, but I ain't going to get that. The world card, Scorpio, is the four of wands. So, something has changed. Now, what has changed? Either this person is no longer in this four of wands energy. Is that what it is, Scorpio? Because I feel like this is what has changed. I feel like your person, the reason why they held back and they did all those things was because they was in a relationship, Scorpio. What has changed is that they walked away from this commitment. They, they're not with it. And they coming to you. <laughs> they come, look, with this page of wands. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ten of Swords here. So either this person is trying to make it up to you because they feel like they've done you wrong, or this person, this is how this person is feeling. Uh, they want to talk about something on this page. Or this person really is just... So the Four of Wands... Okay, so what happened was, this Four of Wands with this Page of Wands, wherever they was at, they really wasn't taking the connection serious, Scorpio. Because this page of wands is nobody that, that gets serious. They just, just they're, they're not taking life serious. They're just there to have fun. And they could have betrayed somebody in the process or maybe they got betrayed. But there are some major disappointments and endings with this world card. <laughs> this, this, this ending brought in some major changes in this person's life. One more card for the world card. Seven of Wands. Look, now, there go that Seven of Wands again. Now your person has set boundaries. It's like your person had moved the hell away from whoever they was with and they done blocked them and they done set some vicious boundaries. They don't want their ass no more, Scorpio, because they coming to you. Look, you know they coming to you with that Queen of Cups. They go that Queen of Cups along with that Two of Wands again. I, like I say, they coming to you because they feel like you the only one they can grow and build something with, Scorpio, with this Two of Wands and this Queen of Cups. See, the Eight of Pentacles, now they're, they're going to give you all of their attentions here. And this Eight of Pentacles, they're going to focus on you and building with you. But they may feel like some Scorpios ain't going for it with this uh, Queen of Swords. And you may choose to just walk away from this connection. Look, which is your Emperor, because remember, you're sitting here as the Empress here. This is your Emperor, Scorpio. Who? that's your Emperor, Scorpio. Let me pull some more cards right quick for you. I'm here. Show me some more cards for Scorpio and this person. Look, now you got the King of Pentacles. This is why this person feels like you guys can build this Ten of Pentacles because they see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you get it. They see you got that action in you here. That's why you got the Three of Pentacles here. This person wants to collaborate and work with you. This person feels like you guys can build this, especially with the with the Empress here. Now you got the uh, Hermit card here. So this person may be trying to figure out, because like I said, you got the Nine of Swords here twice. They're trying to figure out how they're going to come to you, Scorpio. How can they get this popping with you? I feel like this person's trying to figure it out because they know how they left the relationship in this Ten of Swords. It's like they left, they left, they left, <laughs> they trying to figure out how to come back to you because they left you like this. Meanwhile, the relationship that they just left, left them in the Ten of Swords as well, Scorpio. Oof. I go that Three of Cups again. Ooh, Scorpio, this person wants to renew this connection. This person misses your attention. This person misses everything about you. They want to hang out with you and kick it. They go, that king of swords, they're, they're serious now. I feel like this person is really serious because I've seen the king of swords three times. This is why you see that mask not showing feelings because this person wasn't showing you their feelings. Look, they go, that king of wands, though. Look, they go, the king of wands, and where that queen of wands at? They feel like y'all got y'all compatible. Y'all can get whatever y'all want pop, and they feel like y'all are the direct energy where y'all two can get it going with this king of wands and this queen of wands. They, this person feel like y'all a match, and I guess you guys are because, like I said, you got the emperor and the empress here. Where the empress at? Where you at, girl? Find this empress and the emperor here. Scorpio. 
Where'd you go, Emperor? But you got the Emperor and you have the Empress here, Scorpio. You have the King of Wands and you have the Queen of Wands here. And I feel like this person is, is looking at you like you're there. You Y'all can get together. Y'all can move mountains of what I feel like your person is feeling like. I don't know where it's at and I don't want to waste too much time. But I don't got it mixed in with the rest of these cards. But you got the Emperor, the Emperor, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands here. So you guys are, are you're like your divine counterparts. And you guys match each other's chemistry. You match each other's vibe. I feel like this 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 is a, de a, a destined event. You know, you guys are supposed to be together, but I feel like you both had to work through some things, Scorpio. I don't know where they is, Scorpio, but that emperor and the empress is here. This person does have a lot of passion, but look, they're going to two of wands again. I see the two of wands two or three times, and I see the king of swords. This person... Really feels like you are the shit, Scorpio. They can get it done with you. Now, that's the three of wands. Now, some of you Scorpios may have turned your back on them and you're waiting on your shifts to come in. Or maybe this person's turned their back on wherever they left from because they walked away from some shit too. But for some of you Scorpios, you're ending and you're, you're moving forward. Look, now you got the ace of pentacles. See, this person has no doubt that you guys can build it together. You can't. You got all the tools between the two of you. I just feel like there has to be, I just feel like the only problem was, Scorpio, that this person was involved with somebody else. They were already in a committed relationship and spirit brought it down because, because this person either didn't make changes or they wasn't supposed to be together, I guess, Scorpio. I'm still looking for the emperor card. But you got that ace of pentacles, Scorpio. So there is an opportunity here. Look, you got the King of Pentacles as well as the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Ten of Pentacles here. Look, now there go that Empress again. See, you got the Empress in here twice. This person is your, this is, this is a divine connection here. This person has a lot, look, Six of Cups. This is your soulmate. This is someone from your past, Scorpio, that wants to return to you. Someone who couldn't give you what you wanted then because they was already in a relationship, whether they told you or not. Look, there go that new beginning right there with the Ace of Cups. They just want a new beginning with you, love overflowing, because they've always been in love with you, Scorpio. They've always been in love with you. It's just that they couldn't give you nothing at the time, Scorpio. Look, there go that Ten of Pentacles again. And look who underneath the bottom, that Queen of Pentacles. So you got the Queen of Pentacles. It's like y'all vibe. It's like this is, it's like Bunny and Clyde, so to speak. Y'all, you got the king, the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the king of wands, the queen of wands, the emperor, and the empress, along with the ace of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the ace of cups, Scorpio. This is what you have between the two of you. And you got two eight of cups. This person's attention and intention is solely focused on you. So wherever they left at Scorpio, they're heading your way, but they're, they're ready to build everything with you. And I see the potential of it being a beautiful thing. But like I said, I do feel like this person just left a relationship. You're not going to see them coming because it's going to, you, you're not going to see them coming because you clarify the tower. They're coming in to tell you this truth, but I feel like it's not going to be as hard for them to tell you that they ended a relationship because they know you suspected it anyway. But I feel like it may be a problem about this child over here that I see. Because I keep seeing a child over here that they don't want out. But the Ace of Swords is coming out, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. This is what I have for you, my darling, 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 Scorpios. So if this video resonates with you guys, please thumbs up my video. Hit the notification bell, Scorpio, for all. Leave me a comment. And I thank each and every one of you, Scorpios. We'll be going live next week, Scorpio. Uh, uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I'll let you know, Scorpio. But thank you guys so, so much, Scorpio, for rocking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I truly, truly love you. Thank you so, so much for everything that you do and your support to my channel and myself. Thank you guys so, so much. And you have an awesome, awesome day. Bye, Scorpios.